And welcome back to another Theta Report here on 369 Crypto. Today, we're going to take a look at Theta Guardian node uh, updates as far as installation. And also, I'm going to check on our Edge node. So let's get into it. Over here, I have the 369 Crypto YouTube page open. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. If you'd like the content quicker, you need to hit the bell next to it. That's a notification bell. And I'll show you when new videos show up. We do have a playlist over here for Theta. Uh, it's down here, Theta Token Mainnet right here. Um, also our latest videos. I want to get a lot, uh, a lot of people watching the Guardian Node G Pool uh, video. This is just a different way to, if you don't have, uh, if you don't have 10,000 Theta tokens, you can use the G Pool and uh, you can either point your wallet at it or um, send your tokens over there. And then they have weeklies and monthlies, uh, but there's more in that video if you wanna check that out. We're gonna head over to the thetatoken.org page. If you don't have a wallet yet for Theta, you can get it here. That will hold your Theta tokens as well as your T-Fuel. And then the Blockchain Explorer is here. Uh, mainnet launched on June 3rd. So this is the main site here. Uh, I know most of you have seen this before, so I want to show you a couple updates for the Theta Guardian node. Obviously, we have the same um, downloads as we did before, but then we also have the download for CLI and the Getting Started Guide, which I believe points to the GitHub. Yes, and uh, this will walk you through you have to have some computer knowledge here to go through some of this stuff. So graphic user interface or command line interface, um, these two, Google Cloud Marketplace, if you're on, you want it through uh, your Guardian node through the GCP, which is Google Cloud, and then the Blockchain Explorer here. So I'll put a link in the description for the GitHub as well. But uh, if you don't have an Edge node, Edge node's a little bit easier to download. You just need a wallet and uh, download it for Windows or Mac OS. And I have mine running right here, and I believe I've been running it for about a week. And the payouts come monthly. Uh, I think since Mainnet launched on the third, I think it's be around, I think the payouts were the fifth, and then it'll be uh, the following fifth. Don't quote me on that. Best place to look for a lot of this information is Telegram. I'll go through some of those um, questions that we picked up in the Telegram in a second. but. Currently, I'm at 118.39 uh, T fuel right now for this edge player. I have one job, so I have one peer that I'm restreaming there. And this is, runs in the background and it doesn't take any power. It's not mining on your computer, it's just sharing bandwidth from your internet provider. So the pipe that's coming in, whatever's left over in the pipe, gets streamed on or restreams through this device. You can also use the edge player to stream from this. Uh, device, whether that's your Samsung phone or Mac or PC. So it's kind of cool. I, I should probably start streaming since they have video and I'm doing videos. Mental note. Anywho, uh, so this is the main page for Theta and you can go through here and, and look through the different networks and you can see some of the questions that have been coming up in the Telegram is, well, I have my edge node set up and I'll just go through the questions at this point. Okay, so Guardian node, as we've reviewed before, you need a minimum of 10,000 Theta tokens. Um, so I guess the question on this one, um, splitting them between two Guardian nodes and basically just doubles your CPU requirements. You need two, two devices, two desktops then to do that. You can split that up as long as there's 10,000 in each one. Um, can't move forward without choosing one GUI or CLI or Google Cloud. Um, if you have any questions about your install with Guardian Node, please go to the Telegram. Link will be in the description. These guys are very helpful. One thing I do want to say about the Theta Network and most Telegrams too, don't respond to direct messages. If, you've didn't, if you haven't messaged or started a chat with anybody in particular and they just show up and say, hey, how's it going? I heard you need some help. Just give us your uh, seed phrase and your um, 
key key and then all everything will be fine sure yeah that's how you get ripped off so direct messages if you didn't start the conversation delete it usually um especially in the theta they've got a bunch of bots over there so they're weeding them out little by little okay so which wallet to use for theta ios we've got the mobile wallet at android google play web wallet is from the um, Get that from the website here and then treasure ledger or treasure um, unlock cold wallet is a link there so okay uh, another question came up my theta android wallet just updated and i can now stake theta on my phone do i just add ten thousand minimum and start staking and earning t fuel but the theta stays in my wallet and in my control always and the answer is yes you stake the theta and earn the t fuel you send the theta to your node address but it always remains in control of your wallet. So if you want to pay, pull out, I think it's a, a 60 hour um, on freeze time. And then there's a frequently asked questions for Theta, which I've got here. And I'll also put this in the description. It's a little bit um, older. It's right before mainnet launch, but all of the answers are correct and current. Moving on, and that's that link right there. Sweet. And then Crypto Normie had a problem with uh, trying to access his key stroke file or his, his key file. He has a very large hard drive. It's very, very long explanation, but basically he couldn't find it. Uh, either re, you know, rebooted the disk or trying to lost it within the management files of his hard drive, and he couldn't dig it out. Uh, one of the admins or one of the people that are helping him out, ouch, is your drive fully corrupted? You could access, use username, app data, roaming, data guardian node, and try to find it that way. Otherwise, I think you will have to unstake, wait, then restake. And again, don't respond to direct messages. But if you don't have your key store file, I mean, you can get it back up and running. You're probably going to lose the uh, fuel you've been earning for that stake. Don't quote me on that and again you know not your keys not your crypto kind of protect that stuff know where it's at know where it is on your computer and never store your seed words and your key store file together or take a full nothing digital write it down or you know etch it in stone whatever you need to do memorize it is the best but hey you know we got a lot going on so uh, Anatoly has the same question about uh, reinstall edge node on same PC. Do you need to re-verify your wallet again? So if you lost the edge node file or the management file for this, obviously you still have your wallet. Um, you can't destroy your wallet. You can uninstall it and reinstall it with your seed words. But if you lost this piece here, the management part of your edge node is the question here. Follow the steps to reinstall Theta Edge Node on the same PC. You will need to re-verify your wallet again. Navigate to the node on Windows, uninstall, right-click, choose, uninstall manually. Theta Edge Node in the app data label. That is, yep. Hold down the Windows key plus R type percent app data percentage sign. Hit enter. Delete the Theta Edge folder, restart the machine, and ensure the Theta Edge node is completely off the machine. So it's completely gone. You've just you've pulled out the app data folder that has the key store file. You've completely uninstalled it. Okay, where were we? Uh, the, delete the Theta Edge node folder. Yep. Restart the machine, ensure the Theta Edge node is completely off the machine. Download and install a new version of the Theta Edge node. You will get a brand new Theta Edge node window asking for your address. Follow the steps to set up and verify your new hardware address. Once completed, you will be graded and set up. Uh, so it's basically the same setups as the Theta uh, Edge node, which I have in the playlist for Theta Token Mainnet right here. So if you want to check that out, it's one of the first ones that pop pops up, the uh, Guardian node and then um, edge note. So to continue, another question that came up about the G pool, which was my last video I talked about the G pool staking of theta and whether or not you need 10,000. Uh, delegation is when you keep your coins in your own wallet and point them at the G pool. This requires no computer skills, nor do you have to own a PC. You do have to have a minimum of 10,000 theta. So if you're delegating your 10,000 theta 
instead of running a guardian node on your computer, you're delegating it to the G pool. That's one way of doing it. You just point your tokens towards the pool. Uh, you can't move them at that point, but you, you know, they're, they're working for you. Now staking is when you send your theta to one of the G pool cold storage wallets, this requires no computer skills, nor do you have to own a PC. There's also no minimum on the staking requirements for G pool. So that's all the updates I have. I think that's all the, yep. That's all the updates I have for um, the Telegram group. Check out the Theta Mainnet 2.0 Frequently Asked Questions page. Also, the Theta Guardian Node staking is live. There's some comments here on the Medium article. Uh, again, the GitHub for uh, downloading and installing Guardian Mainnet GUI, which is Graphic User Interface. That's usually Windows, what have you, Linux, um, and CLI, Google Cloud marketplace and don't forget check out the playlist for theta because this is the theta report by golly if you're watching this video you're probably interested in theta we're trying to keep uh, this up every couple of days if not every day if there's more news we'll put it out there for you but uh, please subscribe to the channel like the video smash that like button for me appreciate it Thank <laughs> you.